Oh boy, guys, here we are with the new tour preview. I am beyond scared. You guys already know what I really want. This is going to be the autumn tour preview. As we got from the celebration picture, we know it's going to be an autumn tour. Can we please get him this time? I have waited so long. It's been over now three years of the game being out. I have still not managed to get my boy Wiggler yet. I still have not managed to get him. I highly doubt he's going to ever happen, but I feel like my more realistic option is that we're going to get Flying Squirrel Mario. No one's really talked about it very much, but I feel like we're going to get Flying Squirrel Mario. You could get something like Kitsune Luigi, which would be really cool. I, I, I like another Luigi L, but we kind of did get a bunch of Luigi Alts lately. But we have to remember, there's going to be a super ranked character, so it's not like we can have these Flying Squirrel Mario or Kits and Luigi's like, you know, as a super. So what are we exactly going to get as a super? I'm thinking that we could probably get Yellow Yoshi, which is probably what I'm going to expect. Please. <laughs> Please. Waited so long, guys. You have no idea. I mean, some of you do. I have been really just impatient and it's been three years, guys. I really hope he comes into the game. Um, for a track, I'm betting that we will probably get a new Autumn Nitro since every single Nitro we've gone so far, as Mankalar has pointed out, has related to some sort of season. Ninja Hideaway is related to spring because it has like those, you know, trees, I guess, that kind of relate towards more of spring. Um, we also got Merry Mountain, which is related to winter, and Sky High Sunday, which is related to summer. We have currently no Nitro that relates to Autumn, and they did kind of block out the picture and had no early preview of this autumn tour so well, obviously it's something really huge i'm thinking that if it's going to be a retro track i'm really hoping it's still fino square or it could be something like peach gardens which was revealed to come to mario kart 8 and i feel like for some reason peach gardens could fit into this autumn tour i don't know why it's just something i've got a really weird feeling about that could fit into this tour i can't look i can't look guys guys i can't look i don't really know what to think Oh my goodness. Well, isn't that a little bit of a change of events? <laughs> New York. I think this is actually New York Minute 1. I can tell by the layout from the side. You go on the right. Okay, I think that does kind of make a little bit more sense because we did get data mines of battle tracks related to Paris in New York. And I, I did originally think this was going to come in the autumn tour. I just kind of forgot about it. But it just didn't feel like it would fit. It felt like it could have been something towards after. This is not fit as the on tour at all. It's yellow me racing suit, guys. You can't tell me that that ranked character isn't him, please. I mean, even even if he comes in as a super, I guess I'll be fine. I would have rather have him as a high end, but okay. We don't know if he's coming though. I can't tell what carts they are driving, but it seems a little interesting. I think this is a new reskin already of that. Uh, Jet Setter cart, but then essentially more it looks like he's driving a new cart that I've never seen before. Oh. Wait, I hear a Vancouver. Oh my. What is this? The trailers are like built differently now. They like make them into H they they make them like HD now. Well not HD, but they like they make them like widescreen now. That's actually really cool. I like that the trailers are put into this uh landscape now. So we got Vancouver here. Well, not Vancouver right here, but I heard Vancouver in the background. <sighs> okay, we got New York. There's Vancouver. Orange Yoshi. And there's a New York battle course. Okay. Yeah. Once again, my hopes have been destroyed. One thing I have noticed is that it looks like this is going to be a new Vancouver variant because... We've never gone to this path before, so this is probably going to be Vancouver 3. Somehow I completely missed out, but LA is right here. This makes me kind of even wonder, what's the point of having an anniversary tour if we're just going to have more cities back into another tour, like, two tours later? <laughs> but guys, I think the biggest thing to take out of this trailer is the fact that we are going to be having New York Minute 1 back, which is insane. Now, if I were to assume anything, Paris is not in this trailer, but it's probably going to be in the tour. If it's not in the tour, I'm guessing it'll probably come into the tour afterwards with a bunch of other city tracks and bring in a new Paris battle course. But we didn't see anything with Paris in this, in this trailer, but we still could get something into the next tour with it.
Yeah, that cart looks really weird. It's like a weird, like, jet, like, looking thing. Why do I feel like I should know who this is? I feel like I know who this is, but I can't come to the top of my head on who this is. And now that we know that it's an outline of something like this, I really need to know now. I'm gonna go check Twitter. Cow me suit. Oh my... This... Could be a cow me suit? I guess? Oh, that would make sense because the tail does kind of look like a cow. That's actually kind of... That's actually interesting. So we could get something like Moomoo Meadows or Moomoo Farm into the next tour. Or this could be Peach Gardens. This could potentially be Peach Gardens because that would kind of fit. Or no, I don't know if I would even fit either. But yeah, that's definitely a Cow Misu because you can tell by the tail specifically. I need to see if I can find a good picture right here. You can see the uh, tail a little bit better. I don't think anyone else posted a picture about it. But yeah, this is definitely probably a cow me suit. That's interesting. I guess we're going to get some kind of farm tour next tour, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Transitioning over to a small concept slash prediction section we've got for the Autumn Tour 2. For Spotlight Shop Week 1, we've got Sunshine Mario along with his new Hawk cart. This was already confirmed as we saw just barely from the trailer and it looks really cool. I really like the look of Mario Sunshine's uh, hot cart. I'm hoping it has something like Jump Boost Plus because it looks like it's going to have a huge hitbox and that's going to be good for collecting coin coins off the track. Overall, I think that's going to be a really good Spotlight Shop Week 1. For Spotlight Shop Week 2, we've got Pauline with the new reskinned Jet Setter. can't remember exactly what they called them in Mario Kart Tour, but the original name for them was Jet Setter, if you all didn't know. So I'm just going to keep cont continuing calling it for like that from its original name. It's kind of going to be a little weird having Pauline as a 150 ruby, like, you know, pack for uh, a spotlight shop item since she's a regular high end and she's available in like daily selects and stuff very easily for only like 12,000 coins. And most players nowadays have her since she's a pretty easy character to get. It's kind of going to be a little bit ridiculous seeing her in a spotlight shop as an actual spotlight item for 150 rubies. That's going to be insanely ridiculous. However, for the Jet Setter reskin, it's going to be really cool seeing it. I feel like it's probably going to have Slipstream Plus. Gold Pass items. Now, there's two different ways of how they could do this in my opinion. They could either have Penguin Luigi and that new Golden Hawk cart together or they could also have gold snow skimmer along with that new gold hawk cart i think it's probably going to be more towards penguin luigi with the gold hawk cart instead since it seems more suitable and i don't really think penguin luigi set will just be randomly coming back i think he'll just be thrown into gold pass along with this gold hawk cart commemorative cart we've got another hawk cart you notice how many hawk carts we've got guys another hawk cart this one was shown off with Wario Hiker, which you'll get, we'll get to Wario Hiker in a minute. But this orange themed one is going to be a commemorative, I feel. And I'm betting it's probably going to get Dash Panel Plus kind of to match up with the colors. I think that'd be kind of really cool if it was. Now, here's something that I personally made, the Autumn Tour 2 Boosted Spotlights. A lot of this stuff I actually had to predict myself instead of just getting it all gathered around from the trailer. So we, what we have here is Wario Hiker, Rosalina Aurora, Mario Baseball, Charging Chuck, the Snow Skimmer, Comet Tail, Combo Cruiser, Wario's Mustache, the Luma Parafoil, the Home Field Glider, and the Star Sprangled Glider. Now, I feel like these are probably going to be the boosted spotlights. There'll still be other sorts of spotlights you can get in the spotlight shop, but I feel like these are probably going to be all the boosted ones since we did see all four of these characters in the trailer along with their carts except for Wario Hiker, which I think they'll just give him his regular cart and give him a Mustache Glider. We also did not see any of their glider setups so i kind of just predicted on what they could potentially get and honestly i think it came out really well all right dude i guess we're gonna have to keep waiting a little bit longer sorry i know you you still haven't came to the game but i guess i'll all Anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's uh, trailer reaction. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, like and comment below your thoughts on this autumn tour preview. What do you think about it? Do you think it's going to be another full on city tour? What do you think of the New York Battle Course? What do you think of New York Minute 1 coming back? That's going to be the most insane thing ever. 
New York Minute 1 coming back is a huge thing, and I, I'm pretty sure it's New York Minute 1. If, you, if it isn't, let me know down below. I'm pretty sure it's New York Minute 1, and if it is, we're going to have some insane top shelves there, guys. The, that track has not came back ever since the first year of the game. I think it might have been... I'm gonna say New Year's 2019 when it was back. We're gonna it's gonna get some really insane buffs. I'm feeling that gold PD's probably gonna get New York Minute One. But yeah, let me know down below all of your thoughts and see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, stay safe, bye-bye.